Welcome to Comanche, a modern helicopter shooter set in the near future. Alongside this video, you'll also find a link in the description down below, full of information about Comanche and how you can get hold of it. THQ reached out to me and said my channel would be perfect for Comanche, considering this channel actually got started, if you remember, way back in 2015 with attack helicopter gameplay, mainly from Battlefield 4. I've been looking for something else to branch out into. You'll see a few more games on the channel in upcoming weeks, and thankfully, THQ have helped me out with this video and they're going to be sponsoring it, which is great for the channel. That being said, I am going to be giving my actual opinions on the game with gameplay in the background and you can also make up your own mind about this game. Essentially, what they're trying to do here is push this early access phase looking for feedback from players in order to help shape the future of the game, which is something I'm really looking forward to seeing what they're able to come up with. So starting out, I have to say this is a sponsored video, but you can make up your own mind about the game and obviously hear my opinion throughout the video. So a couple of things about the game, as you see some gameplay in the background. Currently, it's in the early access phase with players able to help shape the future of the game through feedback and the developers are actively looking for feedback to help shape that game, which is a great thing. You can see some of that through the roadmap, which gives you an understanding of where the game is going in the future. We've currently got access to five unique Comanche classes, so five helicopters if you want four combat drones, single player, multiplayer, and then a training mode. They're constantly adding to all of this as well. So what you see in game is just kind of the start and then they'll continue to add things in as time goes on. There is an update, the April update, where we're getting a second single player mission arriving, a command wheel, improved graphics options, and various improvements to the game based on that community feedback. THQ are clearly looking to develop this game consistently through that early access phase using the community feedback to improve the overall experience, something that a lot of developers should be doing at this point in time. Into the future, they've committed to bringing in more drones, cosmetics, improvements to the HUD, a third mission, and then going on from there with the single player, progression updates, helicopter skins, and of course, many additional updates according to that valued feedback they get. If leaving feedback is something you wish to do, I've linked their Discord in the description, and there's also when you boot into the game, a little section on the right hand side to go to the Discord and to go onto their online feedback form. So they are really pushing for that feedback, which is great. With this video, I'm also giving away a bunch of keys for the game. In order to get hold of one, you need to check out my post on Twitter. It's quite difficult to give them away in the YouTube comments, unfortunately. So if you jump onto Twitter, link is in the description below and you just answer that post and there's a chance that you'll get hold of one. The instructions will be in that Twitter post though. I'll be giving away all the keys within the next 24 hours so it's a great chance to get hold of the game absolutely free and check it out for yourself. So starting out we're going to take a look at the tutorials, we'll then move on to the single player, multiplayer and I'll give my feedback as we go through. As I said this video is focused on feedback for the devs. So Comanche comes with a few tutorials to help you get used to the flying and the weapons, pretty cool stuff. I've always enjoyed this with uh, flight games because I'm not someone who plays a lot of flight sims and this certainly isn't a flight sim, but um, I do enjoy playing kind of the arcadey helicopter and jet stuff as you see with Battlefield. So this was quite cool to see a tutorial and it was the old school fly through the ring setup. I went straight for the hardest difficulty in terms of the setup but it's still on mouse and keyboard but I went for experience because it gives you more options in terms of the yaw, the pitch and so on with the helicopter. Essentially you're flying through the rings on the course as you get used to your setup, simple enough. Combat training is a bit more complicated as you need to shoot the targets whilst flying. You get a couple of different weapons on the first helicopter, a bit of lock-on stuff, a bit of aim assist if you require it but also you get the mini guns which is quite cool. And then alongside your helicopter, you have a drone, which you can deploy from the helicopter, and that will go into certain parts of the map that the heli can't get and sabotage things or collect objectives, things like that. It's quite an interesting setup. With the single player, I went onto that as soon as I got used to the tutorials. After some feedback, THQ have actually decided to add in a single player campaign. It wasn't part of their thoughts. And for me, it's really important to have a single player 
with a helicopter game like this. So starting out, we had the mission that I played. This was focused on neutralizing enemy forces along a river. Essentially, you're flying from a point to another point, taking out things along the way. It was quite cool, actually. I was surprised. I didn't expect it to be as... I don't want to use the word immersive, but it was pretty fun flying through and getting all of the comms through from your command flying through the fog and seeing enemies a bit too much lock-on spam for my liking personally but then again i suppose lock-ons are what these helicopters are all about and um, opinions you do a lot of stuff that is fairly repetitive at this stage i'd say the mission is fairly decent but it did get repetitive killing the same enemies over and over again with limited weaponry and I do know that they're adding additional missions, so they'll probably learn from this. Something else that annoyed me a little bit was the checkpoints. So you would do quite a lot of the mission. Being an idiot, I'd crash the helicopter into a wall or I'd die or something like that. And I'd then be reset way further back than I kind of wanted to be. It would take another 10 minutes to get through that part of the mission because it is a really long mission. The same goes for the, uh, the variation. A bit of an improvement to that would be great and the drones as well so overall it's a good base i think it just needs a bit more variety with the mission visually it's fine with a game like this i got exactly what i expected ran really well on the computer um, i can't really complain about that i know that the original comanche games comanche 4 was a game that i did play it might annoy a few people that played that because i don't think it's a complete reboot of that game and i don't think it's maybe a sequel as you'd expect to that game it's something a little bit different it depends really it was so long ago that game when it came out i can't really comment but it's maybe not something that a lot of those people would maybe get on board with but as i said it's being developed so this is the time to leave your feedback and be constructive as often people fail to be with a, a project like this and see what happens with it maybe it will evolve into something more similar to comanche 4 in the future with the multiplayer and this is the bit that interested me quite a lot, really. As someone who's a fan of air superiority in games, I felt like this had a lot of potential. It launches with two modes, Black Box and Infiltration. So we'll just go through those quickly. Um, Black Box, the goal of it is to collect more objectives of the enemy team. You get an objective by destroying an enemy helicopter. A Black Box kind of drops out of the sky and lands in the water or on the ground, and you need to go and collect that. You fly close to it, you deploy your drone, you pick it up. And the first team to reach 20 points wins the match, so you'll be rewarded for destroying enemies and also picking up the objectives. Infiltration focuses more on infiltrating an enemy base, taking out the choppers, and if you have the safety, using your drone to infiltrate the base and deploy an EMP. You then protect that base and that EMP for a little bit while the enemies try and take the base back. Attack and defend, pretty simple stuff. I did try and play a bit of multiplayer. I've been playing this game for two days now. Um... It was kind of difficult to find a match, in all honesty. So I did find one or two. Um, most of the gameplay in the background is from the single player. I feel as if this game will pick up players as they start adding more content. So definitely worth checking out. And it is quite fun, actually, the multiplayer, the bit I did get to play. Um, there's lots of different choppers, and we'll get into those in a second. So there's quite a lot of potential for you know picking the right chopper maybe going in with a teammate one of you takes a certain chopper one of you takes the other chopper we'll get into that in a second so there's a bit of scope for some quite interesting helicopter duels and i do think there's some potential there when it comes to the flight model for keyboard and mouse it's absolutely fine it's not far off the old battlefield forces than the one that they had before the major patch in 2015 you have three flight modes so if you want a super laid back casual experience you can have it i went for the most experienced setup as i said but again it's on mouse and keyboard it does offer hot air support but i don't use that so i can't really say if you're a fan of the old comanche it might be something a bit different but i did get exactly what i expected from the game so, what helicopters do we get? You get the classic Comanche, fitted with light Gatling guns, guided stinger missiles, and targeting assistance. You'll see some of that in the background. Next up, we've got the Ghost, an agile chopper, but low on armor. Uh, this is quite an interesting one because you get a cloaking device, so you can sneak up on enemy players. The third chopper is a slow and sturdy Rhino combat helicopter with the scattergun and missiles. And the sonar on the Rhino can be used for spotting the ghost. So you've got a bit of variation there. And then you have the Horizon, which is a long-range combat helicopter, but it's rubbish at close range. And then you have the final chopper, which is the EVE, a balanced loadout with the ability to heal 
friendly choppers. You got four drones, the circuit, the shell shot, the bug and the curie all have different abilities and can be used alongside your chopper to win different modes. And as mentioned, THQ are looking to hear feedback on all of this, including the choppers, the balance between them, how fun they are to fly, all of it really. And then during this early access phase, they're looking to collect that input, information and feedback to help shape the best possible experience which they can already be credited with doing, to be honest, with a few updates since the game initially dropped. So overall, what do I think? It's a game with a lot of potential. In the current climate, with all of these games that often release with, you know, in early access, they need a lot of additional content added to them. I think it's great that they're looking for the feedback. There's lots of ways you can leave feedback, and it's potentially something that could become you know, really, really good into the future. Right now, the single player is quite fun. Multiplayer could do with a few more players on it, to be honest, in order to really enjoy it. But the setup overall, what we're seeing, the foundations, is probably all right, really, to have a better game in the future. So if you did enjoy, leave a like. If you didn't, again, feel free to leave a dislike. This is more of a review, really. As you've been able to see, I can say what I like about this game, which is great for sponsored content because it helps the channel out at the same time. I'll be keeping an eye on this game for sure with coming updates and maybe into the future it'll be something that I cover a bit more on this channel. We will see. Let me know in the comments what you think of it and also are you happy with me covering some more games aside from Battlefield which I will be doing in the coming future. I feel as if I need a bit more variety on this channel with the way Battlefield 5 is going but there we go. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.